This is a video on how to create engine files from NAR data or from any other PDF. Uh, the first thing you'll need to do is to find the engine file data um, and I'm here on the Aerotech website and if you go over here to the resources button click on that and then you can find um, certification documents and you want to click on that and uh, in this case uh, scroll down to the motor that you want um, I want to do in this video the new G80 engine so I'm here in the NAR data section and I'm just going to scroll down and there's the motor the G80T new 137 newton second version so I'm going to click on that and that's going to download the PDF um, so here I have the PDF that's in my browser and I want to scroll down to this section here. The NAR creates engine data files, but they are buried in the PDF document. So what I want you to do is to highlight this text with your cursor. And if you, uh, if you downloaded it directly as a file, you can also do this in Adobe Acrobat. Um, so now I've got it highlighted. I'm going to do a copy. And on my keyboard, it's Control-C. If you use an Apple computer, it's Apple-C. So and I copied it. And now I want to go to uh, a text editing program, such as Microsoft Word. Um, so now I am in Microsoft Word up here, and I'm going to create a new document. Okay, let me resize this window for you here. And now I'm going to take that data. I'm going to just paste it right into the document. And on your uh, keyboard, it's Control-V, or on a Macintosh, it's Apple-V. So now I've just pasted all that data from the Aerotech website or the PDF document. Uh, the next thing I want to do is to save this as a text document. So I'm going to do Save As, and I'm going to call it uh, G80, and I want to go down here to the Format Options and say Text Only, and it's going to change it to TXT. Now, what I want, also want to do is to change this to .eng and click on the Save button. And it's going to give me a warning. Um, do you, I really want to save it as text? And I'm going to say yes. And now it's saved it. Okay, so now we have our engine file. And I just want to confirm that it uh, is working. So let me close this. And I'm going to open that engine file in um, the software called Engine Edit which comes bundled with Roxim. So I'm going to open up Engine Edit. And now we'll go to File Open. And I'm going to search and I'd laid it on my desktop so I need to go to my desktop first. And here's that engine file. Click Open. And look at that. Uh, the engine file has been saved and uh, now all we really need to do is to do um, well, we could just leave it this way, and uh, when you go back to the App, um, Apogee website, you will find a video on how to load that new engine data file into Roxim. Because right now it's still on our desktop. Um, the next step is to actually load it in Roxim, and I want you to go back to the Apogee website, go to the RoximTutorials.asp page, and then learn how to take that file and put it into Roxim. And the other thing that I want you to do is I want you to take that new engine data file you have and I want you to upload it to some of the other websites that have engine data like thrustcurve.org shown here and another one is rocketreviews.com where you can submit to the website your new engine data file so that other users of Roxim can also use that new engine data.